In this question, we're given a bunch of data. Uh, this is the number of state registered automatic weapons and the murder rate for several Northwest states. Now, X is the thousands of automatic weapons. Y is the murders per 100,000 residents. And we're trying to see if they're related. This one's a sideways table. So you can copy and paste it. Uh, notice it came out with a extra space in it and I do need to zoom out a little bit. A few ways to fix this, you can highlight all of these and then drag them up. And again, I highlighted by left clicking dragging and then watch the cursor change to this four way arrow and that lets you move right there. So I can definitely take this and make a scatter plot, insert, scatter, no problem. Uh, they're definitely correlated on this right here. Let's go ahead and get our trend line. So again, you click the plus, uh, then the arrow next to trend line, and then more options. We're going linear and display equation and the R squared. All right, I'm gonna copy, I don't need the R value on this, just, oh, come on now. I'll just copy the whole thing apparently and then edit it when I paste it. So I just deleted that extra one there. All right, I'm just gonna grab this part here. So this question didn't ask us for, I don't know why that copied it very weird, weird way. All right, I'm just gonna type in the Y equals and then delete this weird stuff here and move this over. All right, so we got our Y equals right there. Now, this right here, they give you this information, um, but I think it's good to practice calculating it right from Excel. Now, they want us to predict how many murders per 100,000 residents can be expected in a state with 7.5 thousand automatic weapons. All right, I want X to be 7.5 thousand. Uh oh, formatting is messed up. All right, I can see up here in the alignment and probably the, I'm just going to delete row 90. Maybe row, the new row 90. No, it still is messed up, this is great. Delete. All right, I think we're back to normal, good. All right, 7.5 is one X value. I'm gonna need 8.5 as well for part B, just reading ahead. Now for the equation, copy the equals and everything else, equals, and then replace X. You do need to multiply by, and then click on that value right there. So we have M times that 7.5 plus that value. And we can just be lazy with the black plus and drag it right there. All right, round to three decimal places. I think you don't need to be that accurate, but let's just be that accurate because we can. There we go. So again, I could have used this right here, but you're gonna see that maybe on a quiz or the exam, you're gonna have to do all this work by yourself. So I strongly recommend uh, you need to be able to generate this equation uh, from the initial data. Uh, if it really annoys you this data is going sideways, you can copy it. I'm gonna paste it here, but I'm right clicking and when I paste the transpose, it takes the data and uh, it turns rows into columns. So now this data is set up how most problems are set up. So if you want your data to look consistent, you could paste it as a transposition like this.